What up, man? What's good, dog? What it do, bro? Shit. Yeah. What's that? What up, man? <laughs> I'm just playing. Yo. I know a lot of people, bro. Uh, uh, they be talking about my top 10 list. I got uh, Wilt number three. And it, it ain't gonna lie, bro. It's a lot because of preference. Like, my top 10 is a lot of preference, bro. I'm gonna just keep it a buck. It not, I am objective. I am objective. But my list is, is I'm put like this. It's like 60% preference, 40% obje ob objective. Now, we're gonna get to. My third greatest player of all time, which is Will Chamberlain. All right. Now, I was born in 91. All right. Ever since I was little, bruh, I've known about this, bruh. You hear me? Like, I've known about this nigga, bruh. Real shit. I can't tell you how... You know what I'm saying? I've always known about Will Chamberlain. And when I did hear about Will Chamberlain, ever since I was little, I looked at him as a mythical creature. I promised to God. I looked at this man like, I thought this dude was a mythical, ever since I was little, I'm talking about like six, seven, eight, nine years old, I always look, I've been heard this dude's name. I always looked at him as a mythical creature. Like this nigga was Sasquatch or some shit. The Loch Ness Monster, I promise you. So, I always held him to high regard without knowing much about him. I don't know. I can't, I can't, I, not, this is something I cannot tell you why. But I always held him to high regard. So, <clears throat> so, recently, I say like the past couple of years, uh, you know, I did my research on him. I looked at a couple highlights and shit. And, uh, you know, I've come to realization, like, he was the first nigga to do everything. Like, he was the first guy to stat pad. He was the first guy to get numbers. He was the first guy to showcase. He was the first guy with super duper talent. He was the first guy. He was the first super. Well, they said George Mike. George Mikan was the first superstar. Which may be true. I don't know. But I know that that Will Chamberlain was the first guy to do everything. You know, like we accuse LeBron of stat pattern. He was the first nigga to do that. He was the first nigga to get these numbers. He was the first nigga to do everything. He was the. Forget Soldier Boy. He was the first. He was the first dude to th to, to thirty thousand points. He was the first guy to thirty thousand points. Did you know that he was considered the goat before Michael Jordan showed up? No, it wasn't Dr. J. It wasn't Magic. It wasn't Bird. It, I don't even think it was Kareem. It was Wilt Chamberlain. Will Chamberlain was considered the GOAT before Michael Jackson showed up. I mean, I said Michael Jackson. Michael Jordan showed up. Excuse me. It was, it was Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt Chamberlain was the first to do everything. Now, let's take a look at this shit. Seven feet one without shoes. Seven, eight arm span. Nine foot six standing reach in 1956 shoes. Look at the hand length. The hand spread. How the fuck your hands go, what is that, two inches from spreading them? I know he had a mean backhand. 258 to 320 pounds. 290 to 310 pounds of peak form. 12 feet, 6 inches max. 
right? Four six hand time forty yard. Most dominant NBA player ever. We could debate that because my favorite player, is, my favorite big man is Shaq. Pro Football Hall of Famer. That's a fact. Track and field champion. Drive to the, blah, 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 blah. Now look. No disrespect. Now look. I categorize him, LeBron, Bill Russell, and Allen Iverson as the greatest athletes in basketball ever. To me, LeBron is the greatest talent. He no no no. I'm, I'm sorry. He's the greatest talent. He ah. He's the most talented basketball player I've ever seen. LeBron James. Now, if we want to go with the greatest athlete, Will Chamberlain is in there. Will Chamberlain is what nigga you know seven feet one. Dog ran a four six at seven one in a forty yard. Dog ran a four six at seven feet one. In the volleyball hall of fame. Track and field champion. Alright, that's another subject for another day. But this guy here, I don't give a fuck about playoff contribution. At this point, with me, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. This dude right here it's the third greatest player of all time. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. You cannot deny this dude right there. You can't speak basketball without talking about Will Chamberlain. I don't give a fuck about none of this, none of this playoff with the average in the final. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. It matters. I'm not going to say it, it don't matter. I don't give a fuck about it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. All right? You can't speak basketball without mentioning this dude. The fucking name Wilt Chamberlain. Whole oh, wait. Wilt Chamberlain? Why you think Gucci Mane made mixtapes with this nigga name? Wilt Chamberlain. Come on, dog. The name is strong. Wilt Chamberlain. You never met another nigga named Wilt, nigga. How many nigga niggas last name you know is Chamberlain? That's just like LeBron James. LeBron James got the strongest name in sports history. LeBron James. That shit is strong, nigga. He got the strongest name. Kobe Bryant got one of the Kobe Bryant got one of the coolest names. To me, Carmelo got the cool Carmelo. That's that shit smooth. That's, that shit rolled off the tongue, nigga. Carmelo got one of the smoothest names, nigga. The the the, the smoothest basketball names, nigga. Melo, Carmelo. Nigga, that scream the hoes love me, nigga. That shit scream the hoes love me, nigga. Wilt Chamberlain, bro. Wilt. Chamberlain. That name is strong, bro. Look at this nigga, bro. The dude was an athletic freak, and y'all be acting like this nigga wouldn't do shit today with these soft ass niggas. Ain't no big man. How y'all gonna sit up and act like he wouldn't do shit when ain't no big man in the fucking game? Ain't no big man. Ain't no big man. And y'all gonna act like he ain't he wasn't gonna do nothing? He averaged 50 points a game. <laughs> what the fuck? What 25 rebounds? 
What's wrong with y'all, dog? And the nigga was passing like Jokic, nigga. Do y'all understand? He was the greatest passing big man until Jokic came out. Until uh, until Jokic showed up. Look at watch him play. Go look at the old games. Look at the highlights. Watch this nigga play. He was passing that hole behind his head like magic, nigga. He was leading the fast break, dishing them hoes like magic and bird, nigga. Seven feet one doing that shit, bro. Go watch this man, dog. He led the league in assists as a center at seven foot fucking one. Come on, dog. Back in the 60s. Look, I'm like, y'all, if I picture the 60s and 70s, I picture a big man bagging the, uh, bagging the nigga down, turning around for a jump hook. This nigga was doing Harlem Globetrotters shit. That's why he played for the Harlem Globetrotters. Dude was ahead of his time, dog. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. He was ahead of his time. Like the nigga was leading the fast break and doing passes behind his fucking head like Magic Johnson. This was back in the 60s and 70s, bro. He was ahead of his time. So when you say he not in the top 10, I, 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 don't, I don't understand what the fuck is your criteria. When he was doing this shit way back when... He was doing this shit way back when. Come on, bruh. Shaq is my favorite center. But this motherfucker right here, I don't I don't know, man. I I I, I don't know, bro. I this dude, this dude, this dude. I got three categories. Now, I may be, <laughs> excuse me, I may be full of shit with this shit. I got three categories on big man, on, on these particular big man. Uh, Shaq is, I mean, not Shaq. Wilt is the most dominant. Shaq is my favorite. And Kareem the GOAT big man. Those are my three categories. Shaq is my favorite. Wilt is the most dominant. And uh, Kareem is the GOAT big man. I know that may seem like full of shit. I've been gay. I, I'm just saying, bro. Because the, the, the reason is because Shaq's peak. I'll put Shaq's peak in front of anybody. Even, including Jordan. I put Shaq Peak in front of anybody. Cause Shaq Peak won three straight titles. How many niggas you know did that? Except for Jordan. Shaq Peak no, Kobe, no, Kobe, Kobe that wasn't Kobe's peak. Kobe Peak went until after Shaq left. And, and he didn't win nothing. Kobe Peak, to me, to me, Kobe Peak was like 06. To like oh nine, nah oh oh six to two thousand eight. That's when he lost the final. So Kobe's peak, he didn't win in his peak. Now we can argue that it's 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 uh subjective. We can all debate whether this is peak. But to me, Kobe's peak. That's what that's what pissed me off about Kobe's career because his peak was when he didn't win. His peak. When he was putting up 60 points every other game, 50 points every other game, when he hit that 81, he didn't win shit. That's what pisses me off to this day is that he didn't win shit. Like, this nigga probably would have put up 50 in the finals. Like, it, piss, it pisses me off to this day that the Lakers didn't do anything with this man Pete. Like, you ain't never seen no shit like that. 
maybe 